Hey there fam, welcome back to Our Space. Are you ready for another out of this world story? I know I am. This one's titled, My wife had an affair and says she might want to leave me. I live in a medium sized town in Central Europe and have two kids, one kindergarten age and one in primary school. My wife and I have been together for approximately 15 years now. We're both in our mid thirties. One day after Christmas, my wife sent the kids to her parents and told me she needed to tell me something. Then, she confessed that she has had an affair with a priest from our local parish. This had been going on for two months, but she claimed that she had actually loved him from afar for two years. Naturally, I had not noticed anything. Now, the nasty details. First, it was in fact the priest, not her, who first told her that he loved her. Second, he did so upon the advice of a coach working for the church. Third, he is 20 years older than her. Four, he is also married, several children living in his household. Fifth, they had sex three times, once in our house while I was in my office and twice elsewhere while I was watching the kids, which my wife had asked me to do because she needed some time for herself. Sixth, she claims she loves the man more than she has ever loved me. Seventh, she told me only when the wife of the priest had already found out about it, and it was only a matter of time before she would inform me. Even then, she withheld important information, and I repeatedly caught her lying about important details. We did not break up immediately afterwards, because I love her dearly and feel a strong responsibility to our two small children. Their tiny world would shatter if their parents broke up. So, there was a lot of arguing, shouting, and some broken porcelain, but eventually, we decided to move on and try to revive our relationship. So did the priest and his wife. The first days afterwards were very good, even so good that she called them a second honeymoon. She was very relieved that I decided to swallow the pain and continue with her, and she enjoyed to see that I immediately changed the things that she had criticized on me, and according to her statements, were responsible for her loving me less and for falling in love with the priest. She also promised to change some of her behavior and did so. We've been speaking days and nights and are both quite drained by now. However, the more time passes, the more detached she is becoming of me. At first, she claimed she was lovesick from having to part with her lover priest. Then, she claimed our relationship had been broken long before she fell in love with that priest, which had been an escape and cry for help. She also said that I had hurt her too often and that she was surprised that I say that I still love her. Regarding her injuries, we argue a lot and I am someone who can say unpleasant things in a very blunt and aggressive way, which indeed tends to hurt people. I do, however, usually not resort to swearing, and I would never hit a woman. Basically, her injuries were disagreements where I refused to give in. Most of them about small things such as evening plans, but these arguments often ended in tears. I am also someone who works a lot in an office job, so I was often not at home, or if I was, mentally absent because I was too tired or simply could not make myself interested in the stories she told, which were often about people I barely know or about the same problems that she had told me about before. She is someone who tends to lament over problems instead of resolving them. I personally had recognized that we had problems, but was far from seeing our relationship as broken. In fact, I was, in balance, quite happy. During the last few days, she has now told me that she never loved me as much as I love her and that she did often not like it when I was close to her, or even in the house. This is the reason why she often avoided me, sexually and in other matters. This had started about seven years ago. When she told me, I immediately recognized what she meant. She indeed has been acting like this for a long time. However, she had always claimed that it was my fault because I was too pushy. Our current situation is that she will now speak to a family counselor to find out what she wants. I am supposed to wait until she takes that decision and or make up my own mind. I do not want to lose her though and hate that she tells me that I should think about this. I am completely devastated by now. Two weeks ago I was living a seemingly good life with a great family. Now all I have is a pile of shards. I still love my wife, even if I struggle to find good reasons for it after all that happened. I can't bear to think of what would happen to the kids if we split and I have non-stop violence fantasies about the freaking priest. The worst part of it is that the circumstances make it quite likely that she would take the kids for most of the time, which would make me a weekend dad. I detest this thought. It's like being subjected to the worst parts of being a dad while not getting the parts that are so magical and beautiful. At this point, 
I seek your advice on how to save my marriage and family. Any advice on how to seriously F this priest over, legally, is also welcome. Sorry you are going through this. Now it's time for some community suggestions with some feedback from the OP. OMG Tutti Fruity starts us off. Not sure why you want to stay with someone who clearly does not want to be with you. She has told you both that she loved the other man more than she ever loved you and that you love her more than she ever loved you. Why are you not listening? Why is it likely that she would get custody of your children? Are you not able to provide a stable home? OP's response? Re why I want to stay with her. Because I still love her, even if I do not know how much more I can take. And because of our children. Re custody. Because the children will most likely prefer her over me. And neither can I nor do I want to force them. Amber Leaf 25 g says, My man, she's checked out and you are currently doing the choose me dance. Get some therapy and reevaluate. Two happy parents, which I know probably seem difficult without her. But you will come out of the other side of this if you keep pushing forward one day at a time. Are better than two miserable parents. The OP's response to that one. Yes, you are correct. I just read up on the pick me dance and will stop that immediately. But anyhow, I'm not at the point where I want to break up. All right, little kitty love, you try. Well then, stay together. See how many years you can harm yourself by loving someone who doesn't reciprocate. See how it messes with the children to see that example. If you are strong enough, you can continue this miserable arrangement until one of you passes. Or you can be brave, have an ounce of self-respect, and let the dead relationship go. NikaY19 chimed in, It doesn't matter if you love her and want to be with her. She does not. And because of that, she doesn't respect you. She doesn't respect what you do for her, and she doesn't respect the family home. If she is bringing her affair partner to screw in your house, you're letting her walk all over you. She doesn't care that you provide a house and security. She's taking you for granted. Do you want your children to grow in a loveless marriage? Don't you want them to be happy and have happy parents? You deserve to love and be loved in return. You will find someone better than her. But first, you need to love and have some self-respect. The OP's response to this? Thanks. I agree that she did some extremely nasty things to me, but I also did some to her. So right now, the question is whether we both can heal. You are right that swallowing everything and just trying to change would not help. But that is not what I do. I was actually quite mad when I heard about it, shouted and threw glasses to the floor made threats against the priest, etc., and the priest has it coming, so it is not as if I just admit defeat and lick my wounds. I think that your advice, similar to most advice given under this post, is under the false impression that she is the dominant part in our relationship. This is not the case. We act both as equals, but when it comes to conflicts, it is usually her that ends up far more hurt than me. Okay, sounds like someone refuses to listen to the comments anyway. So let's just move on and forget about it. Next up, I'm 40 male, in love with an escort, 25 female. Eight years ago, my wife passed away and I had a difficult time coping. Eventually, I tried online dating, but went nowhere. I started seeing an escort and she was amazing. We really connected on an emotional as well as a physical level. I've seen her at least once a week for the past five years. I feel like we've grown close over this time and she's opened up to me as well. She's told me her real name, I, I've been to her actual condo. She's told me her reasons for becoming an escort. We talk about her family, and I've even taken her on vacation several times. We text daily. We've talked about her school and her career, and this is what is messing me up. I feel a strong connection, but I also realize it's her job, and I'm paying her. The problem for me is that she's now done with school and is ready to move back home to begin her career and quit being an escort. She told me all this during Christmas. She bought me a PlayStation 5 for Christmas. What the F? She said it was a thank you for being a great client all these years, and she said she's gonna miss me. She said that even though I was a client, I always made her feel special. She said she's gonna miss venting to me and appreciated me always listening to her. She said she's planning on making the move this spring. I'm mentally preparing for it, but don't know if I can handle it. I think I'm in love with her. I wanna tell her this. I want to tell her I love her, and she means everything to me. I really think she has feelings too, but I don't know. Maybe she's really good at her job. It's probably a long shot, but I'd love to be in a relationship with her. 
Hell, I'd even relocate with her. Should I tell her I love her? I'm 40, no kids. I don't have a lot of close friends. All I have is my career. What do I have to lose? I don't know. Then again, if this is all just part of her job as an escort, I don't want to make her feel awkward. Oh, this update's going to be interesting. So I told her how I felt. We had another amazing time this weekend. We were cuddling in bed and looking at potential homes for her when she moves back. She seemed very excited about her future. At this point, I wasn't going to say anything. She seemed so excited about her future that I didn't want to ruin the moment. As we were about to fall asleep, she said that she's going to miss this. I asked her to explain, and she said she's going to miss snuggling with me, miss my massages, hair play, and chatting and hanging out in bed. So then I told her. I told her how amazing a person she was and how I was excited for her future too. I said that she positioned herself to get everything she wanted out of life. I thanked her for everything she has done and how important she has been to me over the years. I said I have developed deep feelings for her and asked her if we can see each other once she retires. I asked her if I can take her out on a real date afterwards. Her response? I care about you too, but let's not complicate things right now and enjoy our remaining time together. She fell asleep shortly thereafter while I was up all night with my heart breaking. The next morning, I apologized for making things weird. She said it's fine and she understands and not to worry about it. She seemed to be taking this all so calmly and casually like it didn't affect her at all. Meanwhile, I'm dying inside. Before I left, she recommended a friend of hers who is an escort that I can see once she retires. Ouch. This was Sunday. For the next few days, it was weird. Usually, we text all the time. She'd send me cute pics and stuff, but there was barely any communication. Then, I receive an email. She tells me that I have been an important part of her life too, and that I've helped her grow throughout the years. She says that she has feelings too, but are unsure of what they are exactly. Somewhere along the way, the lines were blurred, and she said it was her fault for letting that happen. She doesn't want to explore those feelings because she has to move on with her life. She says it will never work because there are so many obstacles to overcome. Mainly the fact that she will be living across the country. She says she is open to being friends, but isn't even sure about that as might complicate things. She suggested that we take a break from seeing each other for a while. I replied and apologized again for making things weird. I told her that she was special and I will support whatever she wants to do. Well, I am absolutely destroyed. I mean, I knew this probably wasn't going to end well, but I don't know how I'm going to get over this heartbreak. I don't know if I'll ever see her again. What am I going to do now? No one wants to be with a broken down 40 year old man. For her, I am happy she is starting a new life. She will be successful in her new career, get married and start a family. I was delusional to think that it could have been with me. I want to thank everyone for the kind words and support. As for the ones with the negative comments or who have attacked me in their DMs, it doesn't matter to me. Nothing that you say can make me feel any worse than I already do. Maybe it's time for some professional help. Or I should just go see that other escort. Mm -hmm.